where are we at with Tyrese? Is there a, is there a shot that he'll play in these next two games, or is he? There's done? not. There's not a shot. Um, you know, we're we're gonna play it safe with him. He's we got a lot of basketball left, and he is getting much better. But with a back to back coming up right before All Star, just feels like the right move is to make sure that we have him healthy for the second half of this season. With the 12th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, Sacramento Kings select Tyrese Halliburton, Iowa State. Halliburton, there's a guy who's ready to play right now. Sacramento's got a steal here. Could be a very competitive race for Rookie of the Year, guys. Sacramento's a perfect spot for me, so I'm just ready to get to work. I've been working out all All-Star break. Man, I'm just looking forward to, you know, kind of start my body being fresh. Battling, obviously, some different things this year with, you know, some knee soreness, shoulder, you know, kind of the whole body. And kind of feeling like All-Star break is kind of giving me a reset. I feel really good. I'm just ready to attack. We're just trying to flip it right now and have a better, you know, second half than the first half. Control what we can, and I'm good. I'm ready. We're all back in town now. We got a good hard day's work behind us. Let's mentally lock into the fact that these games are starting. Today was all about us at practice as far as what we worked on. And it's time to lock in and, and go out, have fun and compete and try to get off to a good start. He's one of those guys that I always talk about, like part of being a leader and a good team and a good teammate is make your teammates better. And Tyrese does that. So we're excited to have him back. Unfortunately, he'll be on a minutes restriction, uh, which is always a challenge because you, you want him on the court. We'll take the minutes restriction over not having him. Nice bounce pass, Halliburton with a quick punch. Man, he has got that burner working, Doug Christie. And a career high scoring effort for Tyrese Halliburton. No! We back! Five on the clock for Halliburton. Let's see if he notices. Using the screen. High arc. Count it! And one! Tyrese! Stare it down! Up high! There's another level by Holmes. He likes not to try and post up Mannion. Step back three on the way. Foul! Count it! Let's go for four! Welcome to California! <laughs> Schroeder turns the court. Get that shot out of here. 110 106 is your final score. Huge game from Tyrese Halliburton. 23 points, 10 assists, four boards. Hold on. Tyrese, do we have weights tonight or not? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's my dog. If you want to lift weights, you still can, though. Tyrese, you probably should. I'm lifting. I'm lifting. I'm lifting. I'm on a drive, kicks to the corner, wide open Halliburton. King six, Dallas nothing. Let's get it started, here's Tyrese. That's a deep three, mm. it doesn't matter, Doug Christie. Kings up by five, shot clock down to seven. Tyrese falling away, water. Halliburton fakes the three. Now he goes into the lane with an up and down scoop. He's got the hoop and he was fouled. Three point opportunity for Tyrese Halliburton. Out of his hand, steal to Lon Wright. Gives it up to Halliburton. Gets bumped by Richardson. No call. Behind the back. Oh, he twisted his ankle. He's gone down. Halliburton is down. The concern now is for Tyrese Halliburton of the Kings. He is face down on the floor at mid. Uh, uh, my knee. The initial reaction was just kind of a shock. 
you know, to go down and hold my leg and didn't know what to really expect. Halliburton either took an inadvertent step, I'm not sure quite if he just, if he rolled the ankle or what. And this is hold your breath time for the Sacramento Kings. You know, going to the back, it felt like there was so many people in the locker room and uh, just kind of nerve wracking because, you know, anytime you feel a pain like that in a part like your knee, which is obviously very scary. You know, I was just really worried that it could be something bad. The biggest thing coming back from that was just, you know, getting my range of motion and my strength back in my knee. Just slowly progressing, you know, I think the biggest thing that I touched on with, you know, my doctors and, you know, the team was preparing like I'm getting ready for a comeback and knowing that more than likely that my, my season was over. It's time to announce the Kia NBA Rookie of the Year. Would it be Sacramento's Tyrese Halliburton, Minnesota's Anthony Edwards, or Charlotte's LaMelo Ball? There is your 19-year-old Kia NBA Rookie of the Year, right. LaMelo Ball. Congratulations. Right now. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, it was cool to be a top three guy when it came to the Rookie of the Year vote. Something that, you know, I worked really hard, not only my whole life, but this past summer especially, to be able to do that. You know, it was really cool to, to be in that regard. You know, I can't control you know, votes or anything, or if I win or not, or whatever the case may be. But it's cool to, you know, be recognized and kind of see the fruits of your labor, for sure. You know, now I'm kind of just moved on from that. I want to win, so that's, that's definitely the biggest thing. Kid is a tough kid. He, he still wanted to play, and we put the work in, and he put the work in to get back on the court. He cares about winning. He cares about playing well. He cares about pleasing others, meaning his team and, and, and his organization. He, he really cares and he gets it. Now he's still way on the but I tell him, man, nobody's perfect. So just be at peace with yourself and get to the next play and get to the next day in life or whatever it is. Don't hold on to it. Just work hard and, and good things will happen. He always talks to me uh, about the, you know, the bigger picture of things. And I think he believes in me sometimes more than I believe in myself. Yes, there you go. He's far ahead of his time. His maturity level is definitely not like a rookie, and uh, I think he'll be a superstar in this NBA. It's awesome to get recognized to play on that select team and be able to learn from different coaches and, and players that are going to be there. So I'm looking forward to that experience of being able to you know, establish myself more and you know, hopefully one day be able to play on the senior team. And what makes him so special is just his understanding of the game. He's learning on the fly, you know, especially with not having summer league, having a short training camp, having a short preseason. He's got the full package of shots. He can create his own space. He has a way of setting up his opponent, getting his man free. He throws a beautiful lob. Halliburton up high, Bagley! He understands passing lanes defensively. He anticipates, he gets steals, gets his hands on balls. Every fundamental skill of the game of basketball, Tyrese Halliburton possesses. Tyrese throwing down, young fella throwing down. He's made me a better player off the ball. You know, I've played on the ball for basically my whole career. So it gives me someone else who, who can handle the ball and make plays for others, get me open shots, get others open shots. A lot of times when you see younger guys trying to make a name for themselves, you know, maybe trying to force some things, but how does a great job with just letting the game come to them? For the tie, Halliburton with a putback counted. I told y'all when I first got here, I, I still believe he's gonna be one of the top point guards in the league one day. He's on his way. Years down the line when, when he's one of the top guys, you know, I won't be surprised. 
I think the knock on my game for a while has been not getting to the free throw line enough and not being physical enough. So just to grow in every aspect, not only as a basketball player, you know, but as a leader, as a person, not only as myself either, just as a team, to be better next year. I got to play in the playoffs. I would love to see it, without a doubt, make it to the Hall of Fame, and make it to the Hall of Fame for the right reason. I want to make it to the Hall of Fame as a great person who love and respect the game. He just checks a lot of boxes across the board and achieves at a higher level than you expect a rookie on a lot of cases to achieve. The Kings don't have another player like him. 